You get here so quick. Movie magic. You ready? Yeah. All right. It's time to get down to business, and the job at hand is cooking a loaded gun to see if it will fire in the fryer. Now, there are many different temperatures that restaurants keep their fry oil at, but at the top end, it's about 390, just shy of 400 degrees. So now we wait. That's hot oil. That's the temperature we're going to be looking for to drop our gun. And temperature is the key to the whole shooting match. Way back when the guys baked bullets... Hot bullets! Get your hot bullets here! They found the heat from an oven could get a gun to go bang. But now the question is, will the wet oil dampen that detonation? All right, that's 390. I'm going to shut off the gas. All right, the gun's free. You ready to lower? I really feel strongly that the moment we lower that gun in there, it's going to go bang. All right, dropping a gun into hot oil. I don't think it's going to take much more than 10 or 15 seconds. Three, two, one. There it goes. There it goes. And there it doesn't. The range is most definitely hot. That heat's working its way towards the bullet. But the gun is clearly not fast food. Now, I was thinking it would go in the first 15 seconds. And as 30 seconds rolls into several minutes... Come on, do something! Confidence that the myth will go off with a bang has cooled. You sure there's a bullet in there, right? <laughs> I'm sure there is. Oh! Sure it is. <laughs> awesome. That worked. Very well done. Let's go eat some gun. Dinner is served. Once again, proving that heat and ammunition are dangerous ingredients in the kitchen. Well, I just hope this goes to show you kids who like to play it fast and loose with a deep fryer that this plus this do not make for a tasty meal. Oh, no. You got to be careful when you bring guns around the food processes because you don't want to get shot in the fish and chips, if you know what I mean. I'm not even sure what I mean. What Adam actually means is... The gun went off real sweet just like the net. But they're not done yet. They're going again, and this time, they're starting cold. So, our gun went off in the vat of boiling oil, but that begs the question, what's the lower temperature threshold for setting off a gun? So that's what we're gonna figure out. We're gonna refill this tank with some cold oil, lowering it in. <laughs> and heat that oil until the gun goes off. It's all information at this point. So what are we up to? Just over 160, climbing steadily. You know, waiting for things to go off like that while you're heating them up slowly, waiting for a failure point, is always nerve-wracking. This is no exception. Well, we're up to about 260 degrees. Got a long ways to go. We're sitting there passing the time as the temperature's just climbing slowly. So at the point it's rounding 300, we're kind of feeling a little bit bored and lax. So what's your favorite fried food? Fish and chips. Fish and chips? When they're done right. Not really paying close attention, but just keeping tabs on it. Then, around 340, we know that we're in the zone, and I literally was in the middle of saying to Jamie, all right, I guess we better start paying attention. Whoa! It totally just went. What temperature was it? It was right around 344 degrees. Oh! This is a rare time when the experiment happened long before we expected it to happen. Wow, that's lower than I thought it'd be. Me too. It was surprising. But with two successful fryer firings, what's not surprising is the result. Though I know this is probably a little obvious, but it's time to call it. We don't need to call anything. Just drop that sign on the ground. The camera guy will take care of the rest. All right, here we go. Why do we always park on the other side of the hill? I don't know. It's stupid. And that's another fully loaded, gun-toting <laughs> collection of cliches concluded. We shot a gun around a corner. Using their weapons of mass deduction, their sums and ammo... I'm speechless. This is amazing. The team has once again defeated the dark forces of fakery and fiction.